Can you earn from property £7,500, which is tax free? Well, the answer to that is clearly yes, but how? Well, that's a great question, and it is something that Louise will explore with you in this video. Yeah, for, absolutely, for sure. Um, let's talk about a, an opportunity here. Yeah. So, Ooh, I like opportunities. Yeah, opportunities whereby you've got income, you can generate an income from property. Mm -hmm. And people think about, well, I, it's costly because I've got to get a bite left mortgage, I've got to put a deposit down, and they completely forget that they can easily just rent a room of their own property. Now, if you was in a bit of place whereby you got five bedrooms and your ch children have left, whew, uh, but then you have one, two room spare, you can easily rent out, let's just keep it think simple, but you rent one of those rooms, you could charge rent from your property and earn how much tax-free income? So it's called the Rent-A-Room Scheme, Help Sheet uh, 223, if you want to go and check it out on HMRC's website. And um, you could rent out your rooms and make seven and a half thousand pounds, pounds, not quid, pounds. Uh, thank you, Louise. Thank uh, you. Tax year and pay no tax. Not even register it through HMRC's self-assessment if that would be the only reason you would be doing it. Now, the seven and a half thousand pounds needs to be all of the income that you're earning. So it could be a mixture, for example, of um, both the rent for the room. It could be um, expenses towards food or meals that you might cook for them. It could be, for example, for cleaning laundry services, all of those things. That's what the seven and a half thousand is to cover. Um, if you own your home jointly, then you can each claim half of that. So in effect, you can still, as a family living in one house, renting out one room to a lodger, um, you can still earn up to seven and a half thousand pounds a year. The important thing is that the room has to be furnished and the individual has to be um, sharing that house with you. So it can't be a separate <clears throat> annex or anything like no. that. It's in a part. The other side to that is if it's 7,500, I believe, there is two way options to prepare your tax return. There is the element of, well, if it's 7,500, just use the rental room allowance. Is there a possibility of saying, well, this is my property income and this is my pr proportionment of expenses against that? Absolutely. And the lovely thing that HMRC allow you to do is to look at either how much did I earn gross rent, so £7,500, versus how much did I earn gross rent less any expenses I incurred. Um, so that if, for example, your gross income was £10,000, if you follow the rent a room relief, it means only the first seven and a half thousand is tax free. So in other words, you're going to have to declare the other two and a half thousand in your tax return and have it taxed. Hmm. Let's imagine on that £10,000 worth of income, it actually cost you £9,000 to actually deliver the room, which would be quite frightening, but that could happen. So if you were to work out the, the genuine profit on that room, then it would actually only be a thousand pounds, wouldn't it? Be 10,000 minus the 9,000 pounds expense. You can choose to apply the real expense, the 9,000, and therefore declare a 1,000 pounds profit. Or you can choose to use the rent a room relief of seven and a half. You just can't have the two. So you either declare your expenses or you use the seven and a half thousand pounds rent a room relief. And HMRC let you toggle between the two every tax year, depending upon which one gives you the best result. Yeah, I think I think it is good to try and marry the two up because in the rental room allowance, let's imagine that you charge ten thousand pounds worth of gross income, rental income, yet seven thousand five hundred rental room allowance, leaving you two thousand five hundred as income, and that would be taxed. But if you have ten thousand pounds and eight thousand pounds worth of cost, you've got four thousand. You kind of got a way up. But if it was ten thousand pounds worth of cost, and you know sorry, £10,000 worth of rental income and £8,000 worth of cost, that's £2,000 profit versus the thing. And that <clears> might happen if you're in London. So if you've got an expensive apartment, for instance, and you're renting one of the rooms out in a two-bedroom apartment suite, actually you could be in that position whereby your rental income isn't going to be necessarily huge amounts of profits, but it could be way in above more than the rental room allowance of 7,500, mm. as for example, depending on the margins. And it's the lovely thing that HMRC currently, and have always, as long as this relief has been in place, allow you to toggle between the two every year mm. and allow you to use the one that gives you the lowest profit and therefore lowest tax.